I have tried every single note-taking app on the App Store and here are my top three that you should use. Number one has to be a safe bet and that's good notes. You get all of the basic features of course like three pens, two erasers and a laser pointer that I pretty much never used. But due to the sheer size of people that actually use good notes, you also get the biggest library of all the assets. That includes stickers, layouts and fancy PDFs. And I have to say they also have some advanced features that are pretty fun to use as well. Like for example voice recording, which sounds really cool as an idea itself, but when you put it into practice it doesn't really work right. Because you see when you turn it on and you don't have any external microphone connected to your iPad, then it's going to record through the iPad microphone, which means that you are going to hear every single one of those little dings that your Apple Pencil makes against the screen, which to say the least is an ideal. And I don't see many students, which is the target audience for good notes, using external microphones microphones in their classrooms. But I have to say they absolutely nailed the zoom in feature, which lets you zoom into the page and have more control over the precise shape of your letters or whatever you're writing. I must say the GoodNotes developers took the right turn here, because most other note taking apps who also have this feature usually put the kind of like follow up zone at the end of the zoom in window. But GoodNotes places it at the beginning, because in all of the other apps you would need to just write until the end of the line and move your hand probably like three times. But in GoodNotes, you can just stay in one place and just write one word at a time and it will just shift forward slowly. I do have to say that GoodNotes also nailed the organizational part of a notes app because they have fancy notebook preset designs which can help you to differentiate your notes visually and also they have folders which you can name and color and just look visually appealing again. One of the secret features which not many people know about is just double tapping on the little plus icon when you go to create a new document. This will make a quick note. Something similar to what Apple has going on when you just swipe from the right corner, but instead you get a document that you can actually save for later or just delete it on the fly if you don't need it anymore. But there's one thing that I seriously hate about GoodNotes, and that's the brand new subscription model. I get it that every single app on the App Store is now jumping onto subscriptions because they are more profitable, but come on, a freaking Notes app? Do you really have to charge like $10 a year, why not make the users pay $15 or $20 and just make it a one-time payment? The second app is Nebo and it doesn't really have anything too exciting to bring to the table, but it has one feature which I absolutely love it for. To start us off, compared to GoodNotes, it actually brings a few new things in terms of AI. It can recognize whatever you're writing and just translate it into regular text. To be honest, I don't really understand this feature because if you have good enough handwriting that the AI would actually translate into regular text, then it's probably also good enough for just regular people to read. And if you have handwriting that sucks, like me for example, then even the AI cannot pick up on it. They also have a little chatbot in the bottom right that will just summarize everything that you wrote, again, if your handwriting is good enough. But again, I don't really see a need for this. Like sure, the summarize feature could be pretty cool, but you don't need a chatbot in everything, like every single company is doing right now, because AI is the hot topic. So to get to the reason why I actually chose Nebo to be on this list with all of the other apps, it's because it's so responsive and so smooth. It's truly the best experience out of any note app out there. If you have looked at screens way too much in your life like I have and you can see the difference between 60 and 90 hertz or 60 and 120, then this app is going to be amazing for you. So to give you a little bit of comparison, the difference between good notes writing and Nebo Nebo writing is like the difference between 90 and 120 hertz. Like most people aren't going to notice this, but if you're one of the nerds, then you are going to notice, really notice. Also, you can use Nebo for pretty much completely free because the only thing that premium unlocks is extra documents. And trust me, you can lift off those six documents and just delete them rapidly. But if you decide that isn't good enough, it's a one-time fee of like $10. And lastly, we have my brand new favorite. A big thank you to Billy who actually mentioned this in a comment section on one of my last videos. I'm super grateful for this because this app does pretty much everything right. It's called Noteful. 
Apple. You see, I had a long lasting screen protector problem. If I had a screen protector on my iPad, all of my diagonal lines that I would do with my Apple Pencil would just go super wobbly and just unpleasant to look at. And this app fixes this entirely because it smooths out your motions. Damn, it even makes like my terrible handwriting look pretty good. I'm not going to bore you with all of the features that it has and just drag out this video. It has all of the basics that you would need from a note taking app with a few extras added. You can think of it as a good notes replacement with a minimalistic design. Like when I compare Noteful to good notes, I cannot stop noticing how freaking cluttered good notes is. This just gives you a little bit more real estate, but it feels so much more open. As for the premium features that you have to pay for to unlock, it pretty much uses the basic scheme as any other app that means unlimited documents and some extra settings like for example the eraser, which I find a bit weird. Why would you only limit the eraser? But then again, this is one of the apps that you could totally use just for free. And if you want those extra features, then it's just $6 for a lifetime subscription. Anyways, hope you enjoyed. And if you would like to see the top five features, why I think the AirPods Pro 2 are worth every single penny, then just take a peek here. Hopefully that, hopefully that video is right there.